Hey what's going on everyone this is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys the proper way to clear your iPhone's cache, your iPhone's system data and also the storage of your iPhone. It is really really important that you always have some free space on your iPhone. I see people all the time having problems with their iPhone storage, their iPhone storage being full that's really not that good and it will have an impact on your iPhone's performance. So in order to, for your iPhone to run as it should, I suggest you always make sure that you have at least 7 to 8 gigs of free storage on your iPhone. So in this video, I will show you guys the proper tips and tricks that you need to know in order to make sure that you will always have free space on your iPhone. First of all, we're talking about the iPhone's cache files. Now, there are a lot of cache files on your device. Every app will have its cached files. Now, we're starting with browsers. If you use Safari, what you need to do is head on to your settings, go to the Safari settings, and right here you will have clear history and website data. This will basically clear everything, the history and the data of the websites from Safari. But what you can do is also go to advanced right here and then go to website data. And from here, you will be able to only clear the data of different websites that are stored on your device without actually having to completely delete the history of your searches and websites that you have visited. You can just go ahead and do this manually, delete one by one, or just tap the edit button and select whatever you want to remove. Now, if you use another browser like Chrome, in, in this case, for example, I use Chrome a lot. So you go to Chrome, you go to history, clear browsing data, and right here you can actually choose what you want to clear. This is a really great option that Chrome has. You can choose cached files and images, and you can also choose cookies and site data, and of course, browsing history. If you just want to leave the browsing history there, you can. You can delete the other stuff that way clear the caches of your browsers. Now, when it comes to apps, things are different. Most apps won't actually have an option which will allow you to clear their cache. Some do, that's really amazing, but what you can do, you can just go ahead and head on to the settings general, go to iPhone storage, and right here you will see actually the apps you have installed in your device and how much space they're taking. Like, let's take an example here. Here we have TikTok, if I go here, you can see the app size is 284 megabytes, while the documents and data is way bigger. It's 380 and I have recently installed the app. If you have this for like a few months or maybe a year or so, you will probably have at least one gig of data here while the app size is really small. Now for apps that don't offer you an option to clear their cache, the best thing you can do is delete the app and reinstall it. That way you will clear those cached files and get some free space on your device. So let's just try it out. Let's delete TikTok here. So here we have just reinstalled the app and you will notice now when we go to the storage, the app will take way less space on the device. So let's just find TikTok right here. But of course, with time that will build up and of course, that app will take more space as of course it will save its files later on but for now on it will take way less space than it used to so if you had the app installed for as i said like a longer time that will actually help and you will just clear a lot of space on your device now this is terrible right here the iphone storage section here on ios 15 is terrible never works as it should so let's just quit this app and try it again so finally it has loaded and let's find tiktok here we have tiktok and you can see right now as the app has just been installed is not taking space at all with documents and data of course in the next few days as we use the app it will build up and it will probably go back of course to that like one gig of data and documents but that will take quite a long time and meanwhile we will have quite a lot of space saved on our device and then of course are some apps that will allow it to actually clear their cached files one of them very popular of course is spotify a lot of iphone users use this if you use spotify you can just go ahead go to spotify go to storage uh, right here on the settings go to storage and you will find here the option to clear the cached files now you can see right here what we have i have downloads 1.7 gigs which are saved locally but then there are cached files which actually are 2.6 gigs of cached files only on this one app 
And of course, the great option here, just click to clear the cache and you're good to go. And now let's move on and talk about something really interesting. We're talking about system data. Head on to the settings app, general iPhone storage, and just scroll all the way down. Right here, we'll find system data. It hasn't loaded yet, but basically these are data that the system needs to operate and that will sometimes take a lot of space on your device. Now there is actually not a way which you can clear this with a button or something like that, but there is a trick that you can do in order to readjust this basically if they are like files that iOS is just keeping here but not using when you reboot it it will of course remove those and will free up some space in some cases I've been able to free two to three gigs of space simply by rebooting my device so let's again wait for this to load here so finally it has loaded and it's 14.43 gigs that's a lot of space that the system data are taking on our device now what you can do right here, as I said, is just do a force reboot of your device. So volume up, volume down, side button and wait until you see the Apple logo and of course wait for the device to reboot. So right now the device has been rebooted and you can see on the system data we have now 14.08. So it basically has cleared around 400 megabytes. That's not a lot at all, but of course, this will be different in different cases, different devices. You might clear a lot of data, you might not clear any at all. This is not guaranteed, but the only thing here is that if you actually just need that extra space on your device for the moment, just make sure you go ahead and reboot your device and you will probably free up some space sometimes as I said up to 2 or 3 gigs. Of course, this might build up with of course, using your device might be even bigger in the future, the next few days, it might even go, in my case, even over 14 or 15 gigs. But of course, this will always change. But in any case that you need that extra free space, just go ahead and do a force reboot of your device and hopefully it will help. And now let me show you guys a few tips and tricks that will help you always have free space on your device. First of all, one that I do always do this on my device is when shooting videos because of course videos will be the stuff that will take the most space on your device when shooting videos i never shoot on 4k on my device like i just keep these videos here on my iphone watch them on my iphone maybe post them on my social media i don't watch them on a 4k tv or 4k monitor that way i don't need my iphone to shoot on 4k and this is what i'm talking about you go to record video right here under the settings you can see 4k 60 frames per second that will take 400 megabytes per minute of video while if you shoot at 1080p 60 frames per second it will take 175 that's like about three times less than it will take up space shooting on 4k 60 frames per second again if you're not watching these videos on a 4k monitor you don't actually need to shoot on 4k at all that will save a lot of space on your device try it out and you will actually see the difference now when it comes to photos and videos of course you have the option to delete them from the photo library but a lot of people actually forget to just remove them from the recently deleted album. Even though your photos and videos have been deleted, they are still taking that space on your device. Make sure you do that always, of course, from the photos app or from the storage right here. You will see this notification, just tap on empty right there and you're good to go. As easy as that, you will delete your recently deleted stuff if you haven't deleted that manually. There are a lot of things that you can do right here on the storage section of your iPhone and some things probably you don't even know about. One of them is the downloaded files that you have on your device. So right here, if you go to on my iPhone, you will see right here it says on my iPhone. These are the files that you have downloaded through Safari. Now, when downloading stuff through Safari, you will have the option to download them on the cloud or locally. If you have them locally, you will have them on this section right here. And if you have downloaded previously like large files and you still have them on your device, they will show up here. So make sure you check this and see all the files. It will just list them from the biggest to the smallest one. You can just go ahead and delete those files as easy as this or you just tap the edit button and delete them one by one. That's some, something everyone should do. Make sure you check 
on my iPhone section, on the storage section, on the settings app, and make sure you have deleted anything that you don't need. Now, another thing that you should check is the messages storage. Now, you might also have stuff like attachments and things like that from the iMessage app that you don't need. And finding them on conversations will be a really, really tough work to do. But what you can do is go to your settings, iPhone storage right here, tap on messages and you will see here top conversations, photos, videos, gifts and other. If I go to photos, it will list all the photos that I have on my iMessage app and you will see again from the biggest one to the smallest. All I gotta do just like that, delete that and that will free a ton of space on my device. And if you have like big videos and things like that, that will take a lot of space on your device. So make sure you always check this and delete stuff that you don't need. The same thing goes for music. If you use the stock music app of iOS, make sure you go here and check the songs that you have downloaded on your device locally. These are the songs that I have on my device locally. You can see they are not much. I have just a few songs because I use Spotify. But what you can do here is go to any of the artists and see how much space their songs are taking on your device. So it will show the space right there. Of course, I can go ahead and take a look at each of the songs, delete any one of them if I want to, or I can completely delete the artist from here. That way it'll free up a ton of space on my device or tap the edit button and I will have the option to actually delete all the songs that I have saved locally directly from here. And then there are podcasts. Make sure that you don't have podcast episodes downloaded to your device. Those will take a lot of space. If they are big episodes like an hour or two hours, that will take a lot of space. So under the iPhone storage, check podcasts right here. We'll see the episodes that you have downloaded locally. You can of course delete them from here. But what I suggest you do so you don't have to bother about deleting those, head on to the podcast settings. You will find it right here and make sure you have, you can see the downloads, the automatic downloads turned off. That way you don't have to bother with podcast episodes downloaded to your device and taking there a ton of space. And last but not least, another thing that I suggest every iPhone user does, head on to the settings and make sure you find App Store, enable upload unused apps. This is an amazing feature of iOS. Like you will have probably a lot of apps that you haven't used maybe in months, but they're on your device and taking up space. This feature will basically find those apps automatically, remove those from your device. Anytime that you actually need those back, you can just go ahead and reinstall the app, but you will still have the data of those apps, so you won't lose anything. It will just remove the app from your device, so that's an amazing feature, and I suggest everyone keeps it on. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this, and of course, leave a like on this video as it helps out a lot, and we'll see you on the next one.